Hello everybody, my name is Uber and I would like to welcome you in the final episode of The Last of Us Part 2. If it will be a little bit over 45 minutes then, fuck that. We'll just make it a little bit over 45 minutes, but we are right at the end of the game. That's the end of the game, basically. Well, a little bit further. But after we reach that, then... Yeah, that's basically it for the game. Uh, so, let's just fucking go. Uh, do I want to just run in like that? Run and gun a little bit? Uh, I don't really know. Because there might be few more enemies spawning in. If I remember correctly. Okay, okay. So let's go in slowly. Would you take a look at that? Oh! Fuck yeah, that's a lot of ammo. And uh, that we cannot pick up. Yep. Okay, let me reload. Show your face. Okay. I'm clearly using way too much ammo. Well, that was exactly so that I could pick up that. Man, I thought there's someone else coming for us. And I could pick up a little bit more of that, but nope. Okay, at least we've got our health back. You got any cool? Want anything cool? Not really. God damn it. Now it's a little bit unrealistic, I would say, that the enemies aren't dropping ammo when they are dying. Because, you know, they are fucking shooting at us. So I'd assume that they've got a little bit of backup of ammo. Right? That would be like the same thing to do. But mm, nope. They aren't doing that for some weird reason. I probably probably it's for the balance and so on and so on, but weird, right? Just a little bit weird. Okay, right now we've got this revolver that I haven't been upgrading at all. So that might be interesting. Let's see, a little bit more loot and nothing else. I think that we don't want to go over there right now. Uh, let's quickly loot this area. Okay, we've got a note. What's going on with that one? Uh, great. We've got a shit ton of ammo for a revolver, goddammit. So we should be using that a little bit more, although it's not the most powerful weapon, and so on and so on. But just for the sake of not losing any ammo right now, let's do it. Okay, okay, right now I'm kinda sneaking around because there might be few enemies spawning in right now. If I remember correctly. I killed few of them in here, that's for sure. Okie dokie. Keep on going. So far so good. We've been hit. What happened? I don't know. It's gotta be a fucking stray. Shit. Spread out. Guard the tower. <laughs> Oh! Ambush! Came from over there! Quick! Oh, fuck! Watch it! You survived that! Run away! Here! Here! Nope. Okay, okay. You want to play like that? Let's fucking play like that. Okay, okay. Let's fucking go. Fuck. Okay, okay. You want to play like that? Let's fucking play like that. Shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, you will be empty of fucking life. Okay, okay. Use that health kit right fucking now. Okay, okay. Let's fucking go. Bitch. Bitch. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
That isn't my best performance. At all. Where do you think you are going? Let's fucking go. Nice. Well, well, well. Nice. Someone else? Would like to fuck with us? I don't think so. Okay, okay. I was trying to use a little bit more ammo for our pistols and so on. It didn't really work out because those guys are really well equipped. But fuck that, I guess. Okay, okay. Let's load everything that we can. Man, that sucked. A little bit. A little bit too much than I expected. But fuck that, I guess. Okay, okay. Nothing around here. Man, I do really suck right now. Mainly because I'm trying to use the ammo that we've got shit ton of. So, for example, pistols and so on. And not really using the most powerful ones. For example, like shotgun. At, at least not too much, right? Uh, cannot pick up those blades. But you can create an arrow for that. Uh, I don't think there will be too much use for arrows right now. But fuck that, I guess. Okay, okay. Because I believe there is like no more fighting left for us. Uh, wait, I missed something. I'm off for a revolver, god damn it. We are not using. Uh, okay, okay. So, fuck using the ammo that we've got. And let's just use ammo that is good for the occasion right now. Good for the situation that we are in right now. We are really low on shotgun ammo and that kinda sucks. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's fucking go. Uh, we've got everything from this location. We've got duct tape here. Nice one. Okay, okay. Nothing else, nothing else. Nothing else here, nothing else here. God damn it. Uh, come on, give me something good. Okay, okay, fuck that, I guess. No one? No one. Uh, let's see, let's go like that. And then let's go like that, just in case. And let's go like that. Okay, okay. Cannot go over here, so the only way for us to advance forward is to go right here. Let's go, bitches. Okay, the game kind of speaks to us that we should have, like, sneak through this location and so on. And they wouldn't be able to follow us later on. But fuck that. Oh, shit. Yeah, they, they are keeping people in cages. That's just fucked up. Okay, okay, let's see. Nothing here, nothing here. Okay, let's continue on then. Oh, shit. Well, you are about to die, bitch. Guys, you would like to help me? A little bit. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Fuck yeah. Well, hello, guys. They already know where the weapons are and so on. That's great. Come on, let's go. Hey, well, where's Abby? She's bit. Keep back. Hey, don't put that fucking thing in hey, me. Hey, 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 hey. Abby tried to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Head down to the beach. You won't miss it. She's probably already dead. Well, fuck. Okay, get the fuck out of here, guys. Come on. Yeah, because they don't know that we can fucking survive being beaten. And so on. Oh, El, you don't look too good. 
all covered in blood and so on. It was like fucking angel of destruction. God damn it. Okay, okay. Let's go. Where the fuck are you, Abby? Let's go. And right now all those guys that we just freed up will be killing all the rattlesnakes that are out here. Come on, let's go. Okay, okay. Ellie, come on. You will be good. Come on. Of course, it reminds us a lot about The Last of Us Part 1, where Joel was fucking impaled by a... By a... Uh, how is it called? Reinforced bar? Reinforcement... Bar? Rebar? Something like that. Basically, the thing that you are putting inside the concrete to make it a little bit harder. And, well, harder to destroy. Yeah. Well, of course, Joel was a little bit in worse condition. But, yeah, very similar. Look at that. The prisoners are doing the job. The slaves, maybe. Let's call them slaves. They are doing the job. To the beach we go, then. Oh... Shit. Okay, okay. Right now I cannot run. Just kinda would like to point that out. Cannot like equip weapons, anything like that. Just saying. I cannot heal up right now, for example. So yeah. Holy. And those are pillars. They are leaving people here to die. Look at that, right in the middle. Is that you? Not really. Is that you? Not really. That's you! Without the fucking... Oh shit. Yep. Oh, for fuck's sake. That sucks, right? That really sucks. They look very similar right now. Abby thinks that it will just end like that. That's interesting, right? She doesn't see her as a threat because we saved her life. Interesting. Or because we are in like no condition to fucking fight. Look at that. God damn it. Okay, we'll leave all the rest of them to die. Like there are at least two people that we could save. But fuck that. You know what why we right now cannot use any of our equipment? Because someone would just shoot Abby right now. And that game game wouldn't like us to do it. That's for sure. Oh god damn it. Oh that sucks. And there are two boats right here. And is the boat from the from the main menu of the game. Yeah. The one on the right. Or the one on the left, the one on the left. Yeah. Oh, shit. If Ellie would like to kill her, then he, she could have just, you know, shoot her. And that would be it. But, nope. Okay. 
question, okay, Ali, what's your plan right now? She cannot let her go. God damn it. I can't let you leave. Oh, shit. Well, you are. That's shitty. That sucks. He's not a part of this. You made him a part of this. Just like you made your friends part of it. Okay. Time for fucking rematch. Oh shit, let's go, let's go, let's fucking go! Oh fuck yeah. Okay. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Catch you up. Oh fuck, I forgot that she can do like double attack. Okay, okay, come on. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I'm coming for you. Okay, okay, she blocked that. Okay, okay, let's go. We're right now in a very similar state, right? Okay, okay. Well, Abby was hanging here for a few days, probably. So she isn't in her in her shape and a lot of slavement and so on. But Ellie was fucking impaled. Okay, okay. I was I thought that she was going for a double double tap on us. So let's go. Thank you very much. Oh fuck you! Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, come on! Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go, come on, come on, we can do it. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit, and we are doing so well. Okay, no more dive. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay, okay, right now she will be double tapping a lot. Even triple tapping sometimes. Okay, 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 let's go. Okay, let's go. Fuck's sake. F fuck's sake. Let's go, thank you very much. Basically, the game is fucking forcing us right now to to dodge. Okay, let's go. But that fight is very cinematic, you've got to admit that. Let's go, thank you very much. Like, you've got no fucking UI to use and so on and so on. Let's go. Oh... Fuck's sake. That sucks a little bit, you know? Killing her like, like right now. Oh no! Fuck! Oh, that's bad. Oh shit. Like, both killing her right now and letting her go is kinda shitty, right? You know? Both of us are kinda. 
cheated the surgeons. Oh shit. Hello, Joel. She took her fucking fingers. No. Stick him. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, that's a lot of blood that we are losing. We've got to do something about it. God damn it. And we are left here, god damn it. And we are left alone. You haven't killed Abby, we lost two fingers. Time to go home. Let's let's see what's going on with Dina right now. That that sucks a little bit a little bit that we haven't killed her because you know we sacrificed so much for that. But on their head, would you really like to see Abby de die like that? It's kinda Oh, look at those fingers. Oh shit. Good thing that we've got nice close up on those. Nice. So we returned home. It's a little bit dirtier, right? Okay, let's go back. Let's see what's going on. The windows are fucking open. Not a good sign. Interesting that the doors are just opened like that. No keys or anything like that. But it's all empty. Dina has left. That sucks. That really sucks. Well, she's not here. That's for sure not in the backyard. Nothing, nothing's left. Well, everything that was, she was able to move is gone. Look at that. Like she left the furniture because it would kind of be hard for her to take that by horse. She would have to get, you know, get a car or something like that. Everything that she was able to pack up and no take is gone. Other than like a few things like here. Yeah. So not only we haven't killed Abby, but he also lost Dina in the process. How we are doing looking right now? Not good. Okay, okay. Let's see. Well, at least our room, uh, our room is still intact. Oh, but she left us the music. That's cool. And she left us the guitar. Oh, fuck. Let's go. If I ever were to lose you, huh? that we can play with two fingers missing. She's trying to play the Joel's song.
Yeah. Yeah. We kinda lost everything right now. Lost our revenge, lost Dina, lost little one, lost two fingers, lost our home. Seth under control. Yeah, I know. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Okay. Uh, Dana. Is she your girlfriend? No. No, she... That was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just... I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. <sighs> so stupid. I have no idea what that girl's intentions are, but... But I do know that she would be lucky to have you. Oh, so sweet. You're such an asshole. I'm not trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. It matters, still. But you took that from me. It matters for a lot of people. If somehow the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment, I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. Nice. I like that. So at least when the tar. Or the last talk with Joel, that right, right, right. That's right. right, right that okay. is the last talk with Joel. This we ended it like that, right? No, no, of anger. Oh God damn it! See you around. Yep. <clears throat> See how devastated right now Ellie is. She's just like right now, right now broken. 
because of everything that has happened. She didn't have his, her revenge. She lost Dina, that of course mattered a lot in her life. That is good. That is really cool looking shot. And it's time to move on, I guess. Oh, god damn it. It is interesting because, like, in the first game, there was really good ending. Not in good for the world, like, uh, let's, let's, let's say for, right, for a moment that there might be a cure and so on and so on. I don't believe in that, but fuck it. And it was bad ending for the world, but good ending for our heroes, right? That was very interesting. But in here, that is bad ending for... For world? World is still a shitty place. It's bad ending for our hero, and that sucks. Because Ellie, first of all, lost her revenge, lost Dina. And right now, she's alone. And if you remember, that's the thing that she feared the most to be left alone and that sucks the most in in this game man but it was amazing still as I said it was really hard for me to play it again like the first time it was amazing I was well of course like Death of Joel then playing as Abby and so on that was really hard for me to process and so on but it was still a lot of fun to play because I didn't know what was coming I didn't know what was next around the corner how many enemies are coming what kind of enemy is coming for me what our heroes would be doing and after playing it for the second time it was kind of I don't know I was trying to find excuses not to play it play it a little bit later for example and so on and so on because I knew that there was Sophie coming for example I knew that there was Shambler coming I knew that there was Death of Joel coming I knew that there was fight with Abby coming, and so on and so on, or killing Mel. All of those things that were pretty shitty, right? I don't know, like... Knowledge about those things made it really hard for me to play. I think that in terms of this game, the story matters the most, and the experience that you got the first time. After that, replayability is kinda... kinda weird, you know? Like, half, half of the game, like when we are playing with Ellie, is really fun to go through over and over again. I really had a lot of fun with that. But after going through certain parts, after that, mainly like killing Mel and so on and so on, and then playing as Abby, it just feels like it's really hard. Not in terms of like you are dying a lot. Yes, you can die a lot and so on, but that's not the point. The point is that you. It's mentally hard, at least for me, maybe that's not for you. Uh, for, it was really mentally hard for me to play it. As, as I said, it was just mentally draining for me. Like like really toxic uh, talk, for example, you've got with someone, right? After that, you feel such, such a burden on you. And that's kind of what I felt in here. And that really sucks because this is an amazing game. Like, even if you don't agree with the story, with, or like, I don't, I don't know, with Lev being Lev, with Abby being just this ripped ass girl that could probably one had a kill shit ton of men. Uh, that was a little bit weird. Like Ellie being, Ellie liking girls and so on and so on. Uh, death of certain characters. Shitty death of certain characters and so on. Even if you don't agree with that, you've got to admit it. This game looks, looks goddamn amazing. And the gameplay, not the story, gameplay, just like now, shooting, crafting, looting, exploring locations, feels really good. I wish we had a little bit more of this open world like scenario, like we had at the, when we first arrived at the Seattle, when we had this big as area to go around with the horse. That was amazing. Of course, later on, the further levels uh, had something like that, but on much smaller scale. I wish they were like you know, big areas that... There was like no levels like that. We were going for like Santa Barbara, for example, going from point A to point B. You had one big area, and just like in in, in, the, in, this, in this location, the beginning, right? We had one big area, but we had to visit two places in order to advance forward. I wish it was it was looking more like that, so that, you know, you were able to... Oh, I will go there, I will go there, I will go there. I know I have to go over there, but I will leave it for the for the last thing, because I know that 
the game is telling me that me the game is telling me that I've got to go there. So that will advance the story. I feel that I would like to do like like those side quests or side activities. I don't know how to call them. I wish it was more like that because I really enjoyed this first location. It's open world like semi open world scenario. It was really fucking amazing. But fuck it, it doesn't really matter right now. I just wish it was a little bit different, right? But fuck me, I'm not game designer, so I don't know. There's probably a good reason for that, right? Also, the game is dragging on a little bit, right? Especially of when you are switching to Abby. I know the something goes something is off with the pacing, right? After you switch to Abby. Do am I the only one that is getting that feeling? I don't know. A little bit weird. Also, there were there were a few moments when you are well, that's fucking the end, right? No, the game is coming back. The game is still going on. Like for example, when Abby is showing up and killing Jesse, you think that's the end? Nope, he's still going. You after Abby comes back again and almost kills Dina, you are going to the farm and so on. You think that's the end? Not really. You are still going. You almost killed Abby, let her go? That's not the end. You are still going back to to the house. Man, that's really interesting, right? Also, the sound design. Oh my god, it was just beautiful. Like soundtracks from both The Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2. I just love, in my work we've got a lot of repetitive work played in the background. Oh my god. And a lot of other songs and so on. But this is one of my favorite ones to go in. I've got to be in mood for that, but it just got them. I got them amazing. Man. But right now, kind of the interesting, the interesting question is, what will, we, what will be going on further with The Last of Us games? Because right now we know that there will be a, like TV series going on. I don't know where it will be airing, but probably like one year still remaining for that. There are talks about The Last of Us Part 1 Remastered. I would like to see that. Uh, the first game looking on... Well, like, like The Last of Us Part 2, right? So, looking amazing. I would really like to see that with, I don't know, better sound design. I, 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 I kind of... I kind of would like to know if they are only going for, like, graphics in master, so the game will be looking better, or, for example, like, gameplay changes. You know? Also, I do wonder if they will bring back the, the cast from the from the first game, like for example, Marlena and so on. Interesting stuff. But yeah, what after that? What after TV series and The Last of Us Remastered? Because those things will for sure uh, bring back the hype for those games. I would I would think so. Probably right now, playing this game right here, right now. Uh, um, playing this game right now was kind of a bad decision. If I would play it right at the, well, right before The Last of Us Remastered comes out, uh, remake, The Last of Us remake would come out, that would gain more views, but fuck that, it doesn't really matter. Uh, will there ever be The Last of Us 3, The Last of Us Part 3? And if so, what will be going on with that? Right? Will we still be following the story of Ellie? Or would we be going with different characters? Like, you know, for example, in The Walking Dead, I believe that's it. Uh, you are, you know, going strong with the story of Clementine. But after that, you are switching to different hero. And then she goes back. Maybe they will do something like that for The Last of Us Part 3, you know? You are starting off with different character. But somewhere during that, you are meeting Ellie and she's helping you. That would be interesting, right? Also, I don't know, I, I kind of wish that they would do something a little bit more with infected animals. Because in The Last of Us Part 1, we were reaching university. And then you've got infected monkeys over there. Because fireflies were testing the cure and so on and so on. And because of that, they infected monkeys so that uh, they could test on them if the cure is working, right? Well... And then the game never really 
took on to that, you know, when the idea of infected creatures or we animals. Because, yeah, probably that's because uh, the cordyceps, so the, the fungus that's attacking the brain of the humans, uh, is like evolved straightly, straight for only for attacking humans. And because my is are kind of similar because of that, he kind of went to them, but I wish they would like be infected dogs or infected or, or bigger animals, like for example, infected bear. I believe that in when I was first playing The Last of Us Part 2, I was like, okay, I'm fucking waiting, infected bear or tiger or something like that. Like, give me that. Like, for example, if you watch The Army of Dead, something like that, it was Netflix, Netflix movie about the guys that were robbing casino uh, were in the city that is under zombie outbreak and there was zombie tiger in that that looked amazing and imagine that but with fungi growing over it or infected bear that would be fucking amazing I would love to see that but also we had uh, patient zero rat king whatever you like to call him that was fucking amazing I wish that we see more creatures like that just fused together like giga bosses right that was really cool. But there might be a possibility that there are other beings like that in different locations around the world. Because that was patient zero, patient zero for the Seattle. There are different cities. And they might have their own version of that being. Yeah. So I think that it, it would be it will be returning in the future, if there will be future games, of course. I think that they will be returning to that kind of monster, at least like similar, because there will be no way for uh, other group of people to fuse together exactly the same way. That had, it, it would have to be different, right? Uh, very interesting. Also, it is interesting that we had this power struggle between Scars and Wolves in Seattle, right? And uh, they were fighting each other and so on, kind of destroying each other. But after that, we had this big ass war at the island of Scars. And kind of the. Uh, well, later on, when we were walking as Abby through the. through, through Ellie's hideout, we had this. I'm just a poor oh, fuck. Nice song. Uh, we heard that uh, wolves are gone from the island. Does it mean that they have lost? Interesting. Very interesting. Well, is there anything that I would like to say? I don't think so. I think that will be just ending this episode right here. So, if you like this one, give it a like with tips, tricks, ideas, and for that, give me a comment. And if you'd like to see more code like that, then please subscribe. I don't know which game we'll be playing next after The Last of Us, but we'll be playing something for sure. Either State of Decay or The Island, we'll see about it. But for right now, that will be it. See you in the next one. Bye bye. For me, where God's redeemed, their vigils keep. I'm going there to see my father. I'm going there, no more to roam. Just a going over Jordan. I'm just a going over home. I'll soon be free from earthly trials. This body
clearing in the old churchyard. I'll drop this cross of self denial and go sing in home to God. I'm going there to see my Savior. I'm going there. No more to roam. I'm just a going over Jordan. I'm just a going over home. I'm just a. Going